Greetings, this is Chuck Roquet from Salton Valley with Love to the Mountain West. The question in play is an honest one. Who is the God of Mormonism? Joseph Smith said, He was once a man like us, yea, that God himself, the Father of us all, dwelt on an earth. Teachings of Joseph Smith, page 345. Elder Christoffel Golden Jr. of the 70 taught a BYU devotional on February 8, 2011. The church news quoted him to say, All of the power and knowledge necessary for gaining eternal life was once again restored to mankind, but only after the true nature of the Father and the Son had been revealed. He quoted Joseph Smith when he testified, It is the first principle of the gospel to know, with a certainty, the character of God. Being asked whether God was once a man, you can read Hinckley's response in Time magazine, August 4, 1997, page 56. President Hinckley said, I don't know that we teach it. I don't know that we emphasize it. I understand the philosophical background behind it, but I don't know a lot about it, and I don't think others know a lot about it. President Hinckley said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So the prophet said, I don't know that we teach it. Joseph Smith taught it. I don't know that we emphasize it. Christoffel Golden Jr. emphasized it. I understand the philosophical background behind it, but I don't know a lot about it. Then where had he been? He added, I don't think others know a lot about it. That would not set well with Joseph Smith. To miss the first principle of the Mormon gospel, being a living prophet with vaults and genealogies, was he just shot out of the past? Well, you can read about the honesty of Hinckley at IRR period ORG slash MIT slash Hinckley period HTML. Here from the rule book, The Miracle of Forgiveness, page 25, lists ignorance as one of those grievous sins, as ignorance about God. But to you, friend, the game of life is not over. You still have your chance. Do you know the character of God? Was God once a man? If you are confused today, understand. But you need to know. Why not praise the real God of the Bible, who is even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Psalm 90, verse 2.